The story of K-John started in 1980 with Stan Sherwin and his mom Kay and his dad John were major rock hounds and so that's where the inspiration stemmed from. I've worked here on and off for the last 20 years and moved away, came back and worked here, moved away multiple times. One of those times I moved away was to Carlsbad when I went to the Gemological Institute of America and became a graduate gemologist. During that time, I met this cute guy named Greg. <laughs> he was attending because he found his passion for gems while he was in Afghanistan. And his mom had asked him to look for lapis. And he started doing research and just fell in love with the world of gems. And that's how we met. We heard that Stan and Mary were doing a big retirement liquidation sale. So we called them and inquired about purchasing the store. They were very relieved at even the possibility, but big things had to fall into place, business loans, housing, all that kind of stuff, but everything worked out. And they closed the store January 2020 and we reopened the end of January 2020. I think something that's really unique about K-John's is that we have three in-house jewelers here and we do hundreds of custom jewelry jobs and repairs every month. So people think that that's really amazing. But the thing I really do love is taking in customers' repairs and working on their sentimental jewelry. For me, I love design, but it's really all about the love behind the piece of jewelry. I think something that's special about Kay Johns, and Lindsay never likes to talk about this, but uh, she's won 11 national awards in our industry. A Spectrum Award is the equivalent of earning a Grammy, so I think that's pretty extraordinary. Growing up in Atascadero, especially after having moved away and experiencing other places, it's just such a special, wonderful place to be. And to be able to have a business here and raise our kids here, it's beyond anything I could have imagined. It's been so fun to see our tiny little town just grow and blossom over the years. And the Chamber has been such a huge part of helping small businesses like ours, so we're so grateful to them.